The Durban Deep Mine on Johannesburg's West Rand is no longer functional, and its dilapidated buildings are now home to a community living in abject poverty. With no electricity, running water or adequate sanitation, these families make do with less than the basics. But they have found their own guardian angel in yes. Cora Bailey, who runs a community welfare organization called CLAW. We provide vaccination, deworming, sterilization of the animals. In helping the animals, Cora saw an even greater need to help the children of this community. The children that come to us, almost all of them have seen rape, they've seen domestic violence, they've seen murder, and all that has a massive impact on how they grow up and how they see the world. It's unthinkable for us to take care of the animals and not consider the children. The children need their safe space here. My biggest wish for Claw is to have water and electricity and of course to be able to improve the space we have for the children. Even miracles require a bit of muscle power, sweat and tears. And this miracle was no different. The whole Great Expectations team put all their muscles together to get the ball rolling. And soon we were well on our way. Hendrik, our biggest sponsor from Solar Power, was also on site. And Uveka grabbed the first opportunity to chat to him. We care about children and animals and that was like the best combination of the three you know where we can do the right thing for the environment mm -hmm. we do something good towards the children in this neighborhood and care for animals so you had to call on a lot of people that you work with to actually get involved and help out as well easy pumps uh -huh. our supply for the pumps they helped us with a plumbing system Trina Solar which is the biggest solar company in the world they were willing to sponsor some solar panels for us. And then of course, Enatec that sponsored the batteries for the backup power. So what's the first step, Hendrik? The first one will be to install the solar panels on the roof. That will bring us electricity to the building. Then we will store that electricity in the batteries. From the batteries, we will convert that energy into AC power that we will take into the DV board and we will distribute that power to the operating theatres and to a pump here at the water station that will give them running water inside the building. So with all the elements in place for power, there was only one thing left to do. We have lights. We're able to see when the sun goes down. Actually can't stop playing with the light switch. And the lights were just in time for us to add the finishing touches to our Christmas party. And by the looks on their faces, the children were delighted with the transformation. Thank you very much. 